Hi everyone, it's Henry and welcome to my show report from The Other Partisan 2022, which took place on the 9th of October at Newark Showground. As usual, what a fantastic show it was, as always, blessed by some sunshine as well, which also led to, or helped, shall we say, uh, a really solid attendance again. I gather over a thousand people through the door again, which is fantastic both for the show organisers, Tricks and Lawrence, who work so hard, and also, of course, for all those traders and the people putting on the games. And what a fabulous selection of games there was. Loads of participation games and beautiful demo games. And uh, I'm going to mention just a few. Uh, the uh, best demo game was won by a game actually staged by Caliber Books. I can't remember the actual uh, people's names who put it on, but... Uh, very pretty looking game. Obviously, I'm an 18th century nut, so there was a kind of a bit of a kick for me there, but a nostalgia. Really lovely looking game using kind of Minden miniatures, Krantara miniatures, beautiful 30 millimeter game, lovely buildings and so on and so forth. That was great and very well attended. And uh, so that was best demo. Uh, the best participation game was won by a section of the Osterbeck game that Two Fat Lardies had taken out to Arnhem last weekend and staged uh, a game, uh, well, a series of games, I think it was about half a dozen of them, in the museum at Arnhem. And lots of local people came along to find out about their own local history of 1944, you know. Fantastic, and what an amazing job they did. And they had one of those bits of the game here at the show and it was fabulous as you'll see and um, that went away with best participation game thoroughly deserved uh, the best uh, vignette was won by the boondock saints they had a mad uh, game set in crete i think it was in 1669 and uh, it was really bonkers uh, uh, a town under siege, fantastic looking thing with lots of quirky stuff going on, including a whole bunch of ships. But it, uh, the thing it won was the, for the best vignette, judged by Ali Morrison and Dave Andrews, because they had this guy on the battlements of the of the fortress town uh, painting the Battle of Lepanto, which was great. A quirky, cheeky, lovely uh, little thing. So that that won best vignette. Overall, best in show, I think, was at the Shrewsbury Club with a game that was kind of Vikings versus Normans in... Uh, in 1067, so a bit unusual from that bit of our Dark Age history. Fabulous looking game, very well attended, and they worked really hard to get people involved as well. So well done to all of those people. I'm going to leave you now to have a look at the slideshow I've put together. Of you know, I took a stack of images and I've just sort of selected a, a fairly sizable bunch of them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the other parts in 2022. <music> Thank you. 